So what is volleyball? Volleyball is a team sport in which two teams of six players are separated by a net. Each team tries to score points by grounding a ball on the other team's court under organized rules. In 1895, William G. Morgan, an instructor of the Young Men's Christian Association in Holyoke, Massachusetts, decided to blend elements of basketball, baseball, tennis, and handball to create a game for his classes of businessmen which would demand less physical contact than basketball. He created the game of volleyball at the time called Mintonet. And now let's talk about the rules and regulations. A point or rally is started when one team serves the ball. The player serving the ball must stand behind the end line or straining line at the back of the court until after they have contracted the volleyball. To serve a player hits the ball with their hand over the net and into the opposing team's side, if the ball doesn't go over the net or hits the ground, the point is over. The opposing team must now return the ball without letting it hit the ground. They can hit the ball up to three times. No single player can hit the ball twice in a row. Blocks don't count. Typically, a team will try to set up an attack. They use the first two hits to set the ball for a spike or hard hit over the net. The two teams continue hitting the ball back and forth until the point ends. A point can end by one team hitting a winning shot that hits the ground within the opponent's court or by one team causing a fault and losing the point. Which volleyball team serves the ball is determined by the previous point. Whoever won the previous point gets to serve, to serve next. At the, at the start of a match, the first serve is determined by a volley. Although players play certain roles on a volleyball team, they all must play all positions. There are three players on the front line and three in the back. Each time a team gains the serve, they must rotate. The entire team rotates in a clockwise manner, with one player moving to the front line and another player moving to the back line. This way, each player plays each spot. There are several ways to fall and lose the point. Here are some examples. Hitting the ball illegally. You must strike the ball in a manner such that you don't hold the ball or pound, carry or throw it. Stepping over or on the line while serving. Not hitting the ball over the net. Touching the net. Reaching under the net and interfering with the player or the ball. Not serving in the correct order. Hitting the ball out of bounds. Double hitting when the same player hits the ball twice in a row. And last, hitting the ball more than three times. And now let's talk about the court structure. A volleyball court is 9 meters by 18 meters divided into equal square halves by a net with a width of 1 meter. The top of the net is 2.43 meters above the center of the court for men's competition and 2.24 meters for women's competition varied for veterans and junior competitions. The minimum height clearance for indoor volleyball court is 7 meters although a clearance of 8 meters is recommended. A line 3 meters from, from and parallel to the net is considered the attack line. The 3 meters line divides the court into back row and front row areas, also back court and front court. And now let's talk about officiating. Only the first and the second referees may blow a whistle during the match. The first referee gave the signal for the service that begins the rally. The first and second referees signal the end of the rally provided that they are sure that a fault has been committed and they have identified its nature. They may blow the whistle during an interruption of play indicating that they authorize or reject a team request. The referee indicates with the official hand signals the nature of the fault, the player at fault, the team to serve. And lastly, the game of the volleyball. Each team consists of six players. Uh, uh, to get play started, a team is chosen to serve by coin toss. A player from the serving team throws the ball into the air and attempts to hit the ball so it passes over the net on a course such that it will land in the opposing team's court. The opposing team must use a combination of no more than three contacts with the volleyball to return the ball to the opponent's side of the net. These contacts uh, usually consist first of the bump or pass so that the ball's trajectory is aimed towards the player designated as the side the setter. Second of the set, usually an overhand pass using wrist to push uh, fingertips at the ball by the setter so that the ball's uh, 
trajectory is aimed towards a spot where one of the players designated as an attacker can hit it. And third, by the attacker spikes, jumping, raising one arm above the head and hitting the ball so it will move quickly down to the ground and opponent's court to return the ball over the net. The team with the possession of the ball that is trying to attack the ball as described is said to be an offense. Team on defense attempts to prevent the attacker from directing the ball into their court. Players at the net jump and reach above the top and if possible across the plane of the net to block the attack ball. If the ball is hit around, above, or through the block, the defensive players arranged in the rest of the, of the court attempt to control the ball with a dig, usually a forearm pass of a hard-driven ball. After the successful dig, the team transitions to offense.